system works. There's nothing intrinsically immoral about the Nigerian. Yeah. Mm. You just have to mm. show him where his incentives are. You need to show her, align her with you. Understand mm. where his bread is buttered. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, there's, nothing, there's nothing sort of genetically immoral about us. Mm. But, yeah. You know, the reason I asked that question was yeah. because I'm looking at the problems the average man on the street is having yeah. with banking in Nigeria, with yeah. being able to have transactions, being able to take money out of the bank, using the ATM yeah. machines and so on. Yeah. So I guess the same kind of problem will replicate itself online, yeah. which is what you are alluding to yes. by having to take cash. Yes. So what would you be saying to those in the banking sector, especially the CBN and the federal government, yeah. in terms of being able to make this yes. one of the key pieces of improving our economy. Uh, you know, I must say that we already are making the right moves. The whole of this week, to be honest with you, I've spent talking to banks. That's all we've done this week. And everybody's concerned about this. Everybody's making the right investments. Um, we have uh, the right framework in place to make this happen. And believe it or not, I think actually in, in the area of sort of uh, regulation, Nigeria has one of the most progressive regulatory environments from a digital payments regime of anywhere in the world. Really? Yeah, yeah, that's what we've seen. So I think we'll get there. I think you're going to start seeing progress as we go along. Um, some of the progress will be in cards, some will be in account yeah. payments. Do you want to add something? I, mean, I guess also the reality of commerce in Nigeria is going to be electronic, it's going to be digital. Yeah. So when you look at commerce anywhere else in the world, e-commerce is competing with the high street or the offline um, commerce. So I guess as long as that realization is there, that the reality of commerce is going to be digital, the policies will further align in that direction. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's only just going to get better, like Sim said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're working uh, with um, the partners yeah. in, in this regard. Yeah, your Yakata sale, was it really sale or sale? It was. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. someone who got a lot of, of 5,879 or something like that. Yeah. So uh, it was a true sale. I mean, the, en sale. the entire yes. catalog of conduct, including our sellers. So we wrote our sellers. We said, look, we're going to have all these massive events. Are you willing to do discounts? The average seller did a discount of about 50%. Yeah. We were sure. 50? Yes. So what's the Conda that discounted? Is Even the sellers, the army of sellers behind us, everybody. Well, Conda wasn't selling fridges at half price. <laughs> were you? There were fridges at half price, price, actually. There was a phone that someone got yeah. for less than 50 naira. Yeah, Conda and It's a very good phone, yeah. by the way. But we yeah, allow some employees to participate in the sale. So, uh, <laughs> you're using my line. No, 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 Okay, yeah, so there's a gentleman here who's asking a uh, very simple, straightforward, but I don't know whether to call it unusual, but uh, Fred Labi is saying, how did you guys at Conga, how did you raise funds to start? He said, we all have ideas, finance is our problem. So uh, uh, let me direct that to you, Sam. Sure. So, I mean, the, the initial seed capital was, you know, out of, out of sort of pocket. Um, I didn't even understand at the time how much how heavy this thing would be, to be very honest with you. Sometimes you just start an adventure. And then about two months into it, we got some very strong foreign investors, I must be honest. Uh, uh -huh. Even though I tried to raise capital locally, it wasn't very successful. Uh -huh. uh, so at the end of the day, we got some very strong investors from Europe, from South Africa, who've done e-commerce around the world and saw the potential in Nigeria. So the capital is foreign. Conga, in its essence, is Nigerian, but uh, we've had to pour a lot of money into this thing, I think, so far, you know, tens of millions of dollars, and we'll pour a lot more. Um, what, why did you call it Conga, by the way? Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking, we have African ambitions, we're looking for a word that is pan-African, a word that doesn't mean anything bad across Africa, so Conga means a drum, across yeah. Africa, many trials, uh, the Yoruba, depending on how you pronounce it, can mean a well, which yeah. is a mm -hmm. kind of something you use every mm -hmm. day, uh, source of life, yes. Yes. Exactly. So when you say, uh, okay, someone just asked another question here. Doing customer is uh, asking why cash instead of POS on delivery? I yes. guess uh, couldn't you possibly take POS with every single one of those? Uh, yes, we can. We prefer it, and I think that's the road we're going to go to. Absolutely. To but sometimes the reality is today is sometimes the network fails. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. when I was doing deliveries last week, I, I went to make a delivery at the military hospital on Awolo Road, and the POS didn't work. So I have to drive the man to City Mall to get the cash, to get cash from an ATM, and pay for wow. the order. 
Uh, so, you know, this, uh, these are some of the technical issues. That it can be stressful. Yeah, it can be, but we, we can't wait for everything to be perfect to go. Mm. We'll Otherwise, we'll never start. Or we won't start. Yeah. Just need to it's by going that we change things, so yes. we have to go. But yeah. it, again, it, it's still something that boils down to making the infrastructure work and who takes care of the infrastructure or who make who delivers on that it's the federal government and yeah. the banking system yeah. that has to work yeah. but in terms of lobbying them yeah. to do that which is called the needful yeah how far are you how, how well are you doing with that i think on we're doing very well i mean on some facets we've had to push and lobby like you said um, in other areas, I think uh, we have certain sort of government officials, if, if I may. I think our Minister of ICT, Mrs. Omobola Johnson, is a fantastic lady. And she's been proactive in trying to develop the industry. I don't call her, she calls me mm -hmm. to say, how can I help? So, you know, some facets of government you push, others are very open. And, um, but we're moving along. We're moving along. You, uh, yeah, I mean, I think I do need to start spending more time in Abuja and less time in the warehouse, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, we'll see how that uh, goes. But when you, when you talk about someone like uh, Ms. Mubala um, uh, Johnson, yes. who is the Minister of ICT, yes. you then look at what the Minister of Finance could also be doing in yes. terms of keying. Are you getting the same kind of response? Yes, you are e commerce and you yeah. might to some extent fall under ICT, but at the same time, it is busy. And yes. it is to do with finance. Are you getting yeah. the same level of response? So, look, I mean, our immediate sort of sphere has been ICT, but you're right. I mean, I think um, the finance ministry and the CBN can pay a lot of attention to this, much more attention. Today in China, Alibaba's goods transacted represent three, four, five, even as much as six, depending on the time of the year, percent of Chinese GDP. Yeah. This, this sector will add significant amounts to Nigeria's GDP, I think as much as 10%. Mm. So they really need, and maybe because we're small right now, we're talking 600 million naira a day. You know, the airlines do more than that. But if you need to look at the pace of growth, next yeah. year that could be 6 billion naira a day. Mm. Okay. And so they really need to, so I think you're right, we need Thank to you. sort of engage okay. with finance. Thank you very much. So, uh, well, this is a good story we've heard today. And um, all I can do is wish you luck. Thank you. And hope that uh, so we'll see you in the next six months. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll have an even better, sweeter story to yeah. tell. And I'm sure you've inspired a lot of young people who watch Sunrise Thank out you, there. Thank you. Hello, for all you know, it might be another three months because Christmas shopping is just around. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm sure it started already. <laughs> it started, hasn't it? Uh, uh, CEO and founder, Conga Limited, Mr. Sim Shagaya. And Mr. Lato Kumbo Fagbamibi, Director of Products, Conga.com. Thank you very much for coming. Well, thank you. And good luck. Thanks, thank Thanks thank Kelvin. Take thank care. You. Yes, Sunrise, we'll be right back with yet another interesting conversation. Please stay with us.